All right, our food is here finally. Took a while. Actually waited 20 minutes just for that drink right there, but that's okay. Kevin and Mary Lou here with uh, Lumpia Life and uh, I haven't sh really shown you the village that we live in so let's take a quick drive and you can see how the uh, roads are here very horrible but uh, especially when it rains it's very bad but let's go As you can see, we got uh, coconut for speed bumps. There's a, uh, that's a uh, internet cafe. Here's a volleyball court. And uh, every Baron guy has a uh, basketball basketball court. And now this one's closed, but this one's open. Here comes another uh, coconut speed bump. Those are uh, my sister-in-law or Mary Lou's sister. A lot of potholes someone I don't know a few months ago came in here with a bunch of big boulder rocks and just put them in the road and for a while it was very hairy driving through here it was scary very scary Half mile, quarter mile to the road from our house. We, we, we have we have actually uh, dumped the bike due to mud one time. There. There's a shortcut over there, but now you can't go through there anymore. There's a goat. There's a goat. Good goat. <laughs> now these are some of the nicer houses here. Most of these. Uh, Nice houses like this are uh, seamen. They, uh, you know, they're sailors. They're like sailors. They go abroad, out there, out to sea for, you know, like a year or six months, and they come home and they build these uh, very nice homes. But yeah, I can get really slippery around here. Just washed the bike yesterday. It was a nice day yesterday, and then it started raining. Hey, hey! And here we are out to the main road. pull over put my helmet on
recording man So every week we, or every month, we have to send money and uh, we always come to this place. We, we send dollars and then convert them into pesos. So M U H R. Well, come to find out face shields are needed. So we always check city hardware first. I don't know why we do that because they're always out of stock. Um, but we are here at Express and the difference between uh, America and the Philippines is that they test everything before it goes out the store. So we're getting three light bulbs. They got to test them each. So just part of the deal here in the Philippines.
So after about 10, 15 minutes, finally got our light bulbs. That's why it <laughs> takes so long to shop in the Philippines. So it's different. I mean, any errand that you got to run takes forever. So now we're gonna eat some lunch at a fancy hotel we've never been to, but we hear the food is good. I had to go park down below. Nobody's here really. Thank you. Wow, very nice. Okay, wow, where's the restaurant? There is a bus, no? Very fancy. this existed in Butuan City. Very beautiful. called the Hotel Oasis and we are the only ones here for lunch right now there was a group here but they left but the prices are really reasonable for being such a really nice place and nice setting for us to eat lunch all right our food is here finally it took a while actually waited 20 minutes just for that drink right there but that's okay uh, well, I ordered a Hawaiian cheeseburger, but things here in the Philippines, you know, a lot of things are on the menu, but it's not available. At a lot of different restaurants, it's not just here, it's, you know, even fast food. They have a sign over the menu item, not available, so. I got the beef humba, which is, or pork humba, which is pork belly. Um, braised in the awesome sauce and then um, Mary Lou got the hot pot seafood hot pot with uh, seafood and vegetables and the cucumber juice juice but uh, let's eat That was a uh, typical day of just doing some errands around Butuan City in the Philippines here. I uh, appreciate you guys tagging along with us today. I know it was kind of boring. Um, folks, we only have 13 days before we leave Butuan for Manila. And then Manila, we're going to be there five days. And then we're coming home to the USA. Getting a little nervous. Um, to be honest, you know, we've been here so long and you don't, you, you just want to make sure you got all your ducks in a row before you head out. But, uh, anyway, we'll keep you posted on that. See you in the next one. Again, stay healthy, stay safe, stay virus free. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.